Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to keep you updated on the real life situation in my country as this war with Russia continues. If you're new to the channel and you will like my videos, please subscribe and share information because the world needs to know more about Ukraine, this unjust war and our future victory. I'm very grateful to all the comments that you leave for sharing on Facebook, Twitter and wherever you want. Because now is February and we all understand that the situation is getting harder both for Ukraine and for our allies as Russia will definitely try to do something for the symbolic anniversary of their full-scale invasion of war. Um, actually today I'm outside and I think that one of the most meaningful talks that people have are during walking, hiking and that's my habit so I have decided to take you outside. Perhaps this is the first real snow that we have uh, this winter and it's not bad that this winter was warm and I hope will return to warm because it's easier for our soldiers but the climate in my semi-safe zone of Ukraine in the west is different from the climate in the east and south of Ukraine which is typically more colder and harsher. Uh, we are not far away from Lutsk, uh, we are actually just on the other side of uh, the park in which I like to invite you for runs, talks, walks and introduction to Ukrainian squirrels. So this is just the other side of the river, which is considered an adjacent village to my city, but it is also a very interesting historical site, which can be interesting for archaeological research, but uh, I like just walking here because uh, it seems like you're outside in the nature, but you are very close to the center of the city. So let's return back to the topic that I want to discuss today, and that is the next uh, full-scale serious attack of Russia that is expected. And we all in Ukraine have this feeling of déjà vu, like everything that was approximately in this time last year repeats today and uh, I, I read a lot of emotional and uh, dramatic posts from people in Sume and in elsewhere because uh, they see, they feel, they hear Russian troops, uh, Russian bombs and they are very much afraid that the occupation that took place uh, at the beginning of March last year can repeat for them and uh, for, for example, Kharkiv region, some locations and so on. Of course, it goes without saying that uh, offensive Russian operations and counter-offensive Ukrainian operations, they continue all the time. And we cannot say that uh, these actions, uh, military actions will be resumed because nothing stopped. But we are speaking about like this uh, super events that attract the attention of uh, uh, the world, press and everything because as this war continues more and more people get used to that. I personally don't want it to be like that because it is not normal reality of the world of Europe, of Ukraine, but even Ukrainians have already adapted and we are talking about this like uh, serious things that uh, can change within uh, weeks and uh, months. And uh, of course, uh, there are lots of attacks that already take place on the front line. And if, for example, at the end of the previous year, it was more about Bakhmut and Soledar, now there are approximately five different really hot zones that Russians are working on. And Ukrainians are good at protecting the territories and we do not retreat, but at the same time, we cannot attack. Russian troops. Why? Because we lack weapons. We are waiting for them and we know that the processes are really positive for Ukraine. But from the other side, uh, all, including like Russian intelligence services, also know that we have to wait. And uh, it is not likely that we will receive tanks, missiles and all the equipment that we need until March. Uh, that's why they understand that they need to use February and uh, March to try and regain as much of Ukraine as possible. And most of all, they are interested traditionally in Donetsk and Luhansk administrative uh, regions, so they want to take all of them. And maybe with that, to try and start negotiating, because they also realize that it is impossible for them to take all the Ukraine. Maybe they will try attacking Kyiv. By the way, let me know what your newspapers say 
it's really interesting for me because like we understand they won't be able to take Kiev because like they are taking Bakhmut which is a 40,000 city or 40,000 inhabitants town and they were taking it were trying to take it for five months so of course with four million Kiev it is impossible and with the support of the world and with the bravery of Ukrainians and our expertise and experience but they may try and let me know what your newspapers say about that but in general we realize that perhaps they will concentrate on Donetsk and Luhansk region and they will try to uh, maybe then after we receive the tanks after we receive the supplies that we need they will try to start negotiations somewhere by summer 2023 but we remember that no negotiations with terrorists because if you start accepting their rules they start spoiling your life further and we all know that the best way to stop terrorism is like to kill main terrorists but it's really difficult because in Russia we have a 140 million uh, population country that is so brainwashed that the majority of them truly support Putin and his regime and his offensive actions in Ukraine and all over the world. When we see that Putin threatens the world, what do we see? That Russian population is at awe, they applaud him, they love him and they do want Russia to be like terrorists. They feel proud of that, they don't feel sorry or uh, shy. Uh, anyway, uh, we are very attentive and we understand that from one point of view many uh, sources of media start manipulating, like uh, attracting attention, saying that new attack is getting ready. It goes without saying that there are lots of attacks that take place daily and this is the reality of Ukraine, this is the reality of many Ukrainian uh, villages, towns and cities on the front line, but perhaps they will try to make a show or something closer to the date of um, the start of this war. I cannot believe it is already one year and that it is one year that I live in a country at war. I have always been like a normal European citizen and I have never expected I will have to go through that. But like it's awful how quickly human brain adapts. It's like both awful and really good because this is a survival instrument. Anyway, let me know what do you think, what, does your, uh, what do your newspapers uh, say. Also, I want to thank you for the support that you demonstrate to my channel, for your comments and advice, for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons. Don't forget to introduce yourself to our Soviet myths debunked episodes where we speak about old Soviet propaganda myths that still fuel modern Russian uh, crimes. And the last one was about Soviet sports and Olympics. Slava Ukraina!